Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to download Ubuntu and install it on VirtualBox. First of all, let's start with the tools that we need. Of course, we need Ubuntu, so we'll go to Google and type Ubuntu and click on the first link. And here we are in the Canonical's Ubuntu webpage. You need to go to the download section here and click on that little arrow. Here we have two versions, the 2004 LTS version and the 20.10 non-LTS version. So LTS stands for long-term support. Canonical, which is the company that makes Ubuntu, will support this version for five years. So it will be supported till 2025. The name 2004 comes from the release date. So it's the fourth month of the year 2020. So the 04 is for the fourth month and the 20 is for the year 2020. So you can guess that the 20.10 was released in October 2020. But this non-LTS version will be supported by Canonical for 9 months only. I prefer to use the LTS version for its stability. So click on it and the download will start automatically. I've already downloaded mine. So let me close this window here. The next tool is in case you want to install Ubuntu on a real hard drive whether alone or in a dual boot with another operating system like Windows. So in this case, we need to download Rufus that will allow you to install Ubuntu on a USB stick. So just type Rufus on Google and download it. If you want to know how to use it, just check my other videos about Deep Web. The next tool we need is VirtualBox, which is the software that will allow us to create a virtual machine in which we will install Ubuntu. So we go to VirtualBox and you download the latest version. Because I'm using a Windows machine, I will click on Windows Host. But if you are running Mac OS or another Linux, just click on the appropriate button here. So now install and run VirtualBox and then click on New. Then give a name to your new virtual machine. I will call mine Ubuntu 2004. Then you choose the type of the OS it is. Of course, it's a Linux. But if you are installing, for example, Windows, just click on Microsoft Windows. If you can't see the 64-bit versions on this list, you might want to restart your computer and enter the BIOS settings and enable hardware virtualization. Then reboot your Windows again and you should see the 64-bit. Now let's choose Ubuntu 64. Click next. Here we give our machine some RAM. Two gigs will be enough. Click next. Now we need to create a virtual hard disk to install Ubuntu on it. So click on create VDI and then next. I will give it a fixed size, but you can go with dynamically allocated. Click next. I'm gonna give it 20 gigs of space and then click on create. It will take some time, so I will pause the video. Now we have our empty virtual machine. And before we start it, go to settings. In the general tab, you can modify the name. So let me correct mine. It's Ubuntu 2004. In system, I'm going to increase the number of CPU to 2. In display, I will increase it all the way up. But the most important part is the storage tab. So here click on anti and then click on this little icon and then click on choose a disk file. From there, browse to where you downloaded your image of Ubuntu. Me, I have it on my desktop and you double click on it. Then click OK. And now we can start our machine. So now Ubuntu is starting and it's performing a disk check. Now we are in the Ubuntu installer and you can try it first if you're not sure to install it. So choose your language, choose your keyboard layout, mine is French and click continue. Now you can choose a normal or a minimal installation. I'm going to stick with the normal 
and I'm gonna tick the option for third party software and click continue. Now here is the tricky part. If you are using a virtual machine, it's okay, there's no tricky part. But if you are installing it on a dual boot on a real hard disk, then you need to choose something else here. So for dual boot with Windows, for example, you will need to create a new partition for Ubuntu. And to do that, go to Windows and search for Disk Management. Click on this icon or you can right click on this PC and choose Manage. And from there, go to Disk Management. It's just the same, so let me close one. And here, if I have enough space on my C drive, I can right click on it and choose shrink. Or for example, on my E drive, right click on it and choose shrink. And then choose the amount of space to shrink and that will be given to Ubuntu later. So back to our virtual machine, I will choose erase disk and install Ubuntu. Click on install now and it warns you that it will erase data on this disk. So just click continue. Choose your region and click continue. Choose a name, mine is Learn TV. Name of the computer, a password. And click on continue. This time it will install Ubuntu, so see you later. After installation is finished, it asks you to restart the computer, so click on restart now. And then it tells you to remove the installation media. So if you are using a USB stick, just remove it. But in our case, just press enter. After restart, click on your name and type your password. And you are greeted with this welcome screen. So click on skip and then next, next. You can read and modify what you want. And finally, we are using Ubuntu 2004. So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and take care.